Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento giving you an update of what's happening in the markets today. Well, the markets are a little quiet today. We had a big move up and a big move down on Monday. Tuesday is sort of turnaround Tuesday, so the markets are holding their own. The Dow's up about 40. The S&P's up about 6 or 8. NASDAQ's up about 15. Uh, all the currencies are down. The U.S. dollar is strengthening a tiny bit, but I mean tiny bit is a, an absolute uh, – <laughs> understatement because it's really gone nowhere uh, gold is up a tiny bit silver's down a little bit the big news of the day has been the fact that uh, Prince Harry's book has come out and it is the fastest selling nonfiction book in history folks no book has ever sold faster more copies than that book it upset trade what you see that was published 20 years ago and uh, that book was also sold out. Uh, both copies were sold on the first day. But this copy, this guy's made a lot of money. The name of the book is Spare. And there's a limerick to that. In other words, one person is the heir, the other person is the spare. That's what that means from what I heard on 60 Minutes on Sunday night. And it was a, it's a very sad book. My friend J uh, John Jameson has already read the book, and he's in the second reading of it now. He enjoyed it so much. And uh, but it's it's a, it's a very sad story about the young man who loses his mother and he hasn't spoken to his father in several years. That's no big deal. I didn't speak to mine for longer than that. Anyway, let's uh, let's remember, folks. That's part of fiction, or, uh, the history of, of what's going on with the royal family. We're dealing with the markets here, and so we had that big high uh, come in yesterday at the 50 percent level, at the 4070 level in the uh, E mini S and P. And so far, it's backed off about 60 handles from that level, but it's gone nowhere. It stopped right at the 50% retracement of the last low, so that tells us the trend could still be up. So that's where we're, the update is today. We'll see how the markets end up before the day is over. And remember, folks, next Monday is a holiday. That's Martin Luther King Day on the 16th. All the markets will be closed. Tomorrow's guest, today's guest is Stan Harley. And on Thursday, we have, oh, dear, 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 I know we have... Peter Elides, on Thursday, we have Shut the Front Door and Razor, and it's Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. So those are our three guests at the remaining time. Tomorrow uh, will be a free day. On Tuesday next week, we'll have Jim Bartolioni. We'll be right back.